welcome back to our tack and daughters and uh, for our staying up we're going to be uh, transparent and we're going to do a review on this uh, cheek mount and slash shotgun shell holder it also has a um, if I can unzip it here inside it has a nice little pocket and a velcro removable uh, rifle cartridge uh, holder so it holds what is it uh, one two three four five six it holds seven rifle rounds you just remove this kind of do it hard with one hand so yeah you just velcro so you remove that and place it on this side here um, this is a shotgun shell holder um, this is a sponsored video by, what is it, Freeland or Freeland off of Amazon. I will have a link to his Amazon page in the description and uh, for this product of his. He graciously sent this out to me. It is from China, made in China. Um, send it out to the channel for a review. And uh, so... We're going to do a fair and honest review on it. So right now we're going to talk about what I don't like about it. And there's only one thing I can say I don't like about it. As you can tell with these, with these, uh, how the sewing is done right here for the shotgun pouch shell holders. Um, they are not even. So you know, it only holds four, which is, that's fine, but... Um, this one's tighter, this one's a little bit looser. It's like small, medium, large, extra large type deal on it. So, uh, it's like a 410, 20 gauge, 12 gauge, and 10 gauge. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's, uh, obviously it was done as a mistake. So, I don't know if all the products are like that, that are, are like this on it. But all the ones for the rifle are even. So, that's a good thing. Um, I did put some 6.5 Grindel, and it held them fine, even though it was a little loose. So, but if you're going to go to anything um, bigger than 6.5 Grindel, like a 308, 30 odd 6, 30 30, anything rimmed, well, you know, your medium rifle cal calipers would be fine in it. Um, 223, no. 5.56 uh, five, five, uh, five, five, is a no, of course, and 6.5 Grindel, no. 6.5 Creedmoor would be okay. So 762 by 39, I don't think so, but 762 by 54 will be fine in that. So it's made be made for medium and large um, size rounds on that. Um, so it doesn't, you know, it, it'll hold 223, but they're not, I don't know how firmly they're going to be in there for long-term testing. We'll have to see. Um, shotgun rounds, it'll hold 12-gauge shotgun rounds, even with the, the big loops there. It'll still hold them. So this is going to go on to um, my volunteer single shot 12 gauge shotgun. That's where we're going to put it on there. And then after I get it on there, uh, we'll go back to the video. Uh, so that's the only thing I ding about is the size of the loops where they've been sewn. A little bit more attention to detail. They probably could have got uh, five, maybe six out of this. But uh, that's fine. It is made out of uh, neoprene. It is uh, does have a um, oh this thing's picking up everything off my table. It does have a um, sewn in loop there for the uh, for your swivel from your your sling if you got one. So it'll work on that. Um, you will have to take your rifle scope off if you decide to put this on a rifle. But on this single shot shotgun, which I which I'm gonna mount it on. Um, It'll slide right over it. Your rifle, any rifles that you don't have a scope on, it'll slide right over. Uh, of course, you have to take your bolt out to get it past there. Um, the cheek rest, I like the feature on that a lot because it comes with a foam insert. This one is the 0.9 inch, or so might as well say one inch foam insert there. It also comes with an inch and a half foam insert to make it a little bit bigger. I went with the one inch. Um, it feels good on me. I love the pocket here. You can throw um, lots of other rounds in there, um, your hunting license, anything of that nature that you need extra on. You can throw in there, cleaning kit, 
So that's a good idea. Um, construction seems to be pretty damn good. It's neoprene, of course. Um, it'll last long. Uh, feels good against your skin, so you don't have to worry about it chafing or anything like that. I just don't care for the the um, the, the, the sewing on the webbing here for the shotgun part. Uh, the rifle part seems to be fine for medium-sized calipers. Oh, another good thing about this is, is that if you have um, um, a plate carrier and you got a Velcro spot on it, you can take this off and throw it on that. And um, so if you got extra, you know, you're wearing your plate carrier, you can throw you some extra shotgun rounds on it that way and keep them off your gun. Or rifle rounds and put them on your chest so you can carry some extra rifle rounds. Yeah, um, especially, this would be also great for target shooting. Um, but it, to me, uh, it, it, you're not going to put this on an AR. I mean, you could. I, I wouldn't. This is more for like a bolt action rifle or something like that. So, all right, we're going to take a break here and we'll come back with this installed on the shotgun. So, hold on. All right, so now that we got it on there, um, didn't take too long in there, so I went ahead and put some uh, some rounds in the 12 gauge pouch here, and you can see uh, the first two fine fit. This one right here is going to come through, and this right here will go on all the way through. So, unfortunately, yeah. It's a no-go on the shotgun pouch. See that? That's just way too big. I'm pretty sure they didn't know this in China because they don't get to play with real ammunition or anything of that nature. So, um, that's part of the problem here. And, of course, we got Brady coming in. Thank you, Brady. Um, first two are fine. This one, nope, ain't going to happen. Not gonna happen, not gonna happen. They're gonna fall out right here. So it only holds two. So I went ahead and, and put a couple rifle rounds so you guys see them in here in the uh, the rifle part. So I put two six five Grendels in here and a seven six two by thirty nine since they they shared the same parent case. The seven six two seemed to fit in there a little bit better. Um Let's shake them and see if we can get them to come out. Yep, we lost one of the 6.5s. So medium cartridges. So 308, um, 243, 7mm mag, 300, 30-06 would probably fit in these fine. I know I tried the 308. Um, I don't think I got a... Nope, I don't want to have any more live rounds out. So, uh, again, if you can live with, uh, of course, now, you can you can take these and stitch them up a little bit yourself to fix them. So, still not a deal breaker for $10 bucks, um, or $11, bucks, I think, is what it is, because you get a lot of other features out of this. The pocket itself, a great idea. Um... Then again, if you're keeping your rifle rounds inside the, the pocket here, let me get it right here. So if you're going to keep these inside like that, and then zip them up, you're not going to have a problem. But your shotgun rounds, all two of them, are going to fall right out. These two right here are secure pretty good. That's the ball buckshot. Just in case you want to know what cases they were, these were Winchester Super X Magnum Turkey Rounds. That fell right through it, so you can push right through it. Yeah, that's a problem. Um, uh, that's an unfortunate thing. Not a deal breaker in my book. Um, on a product review, out of a not, uh, out of uh, ten being the better, one out of ten, ten being the best, I'd give this a seven simply because of the the pockets here. Now you could break the stitching loose yourself. And then stitch maybe two more. You might be able to get two more shotgun rounds in this to get it up to five. So if that's a possibility, um, stitch it a little bit better. Um, and then it'd be good to go. The rifle, again, it depends on what size rounds are you're using. So, and then and then the strip, the matter of fact that you take both strips off and then just, you know, the pocket itself gives you more options as well. 
this right here on the uh, on the Velcro again gives you more options not a big deal here we go with the rifle on it or rifle rounds um, again the 6.5 you know again that pocket's a little bit bigger than the rest as you can see it uh, just small details like that that's just nick picking it other than that it fits on the stock real well the cheek rest if you're buying this for just the cheek rest and the pouch it's golden for that price and then you get these and then you might have to do a little bit more work as you can see right there i got them off the size difference um again that's something else you can fix the rifle rounds here you, again depending on what size caliber you want to put on there it's good so like i said it's seven out of ten um the description for this will be in or the amazon link will be in the description below um and this is a product of China. It came pretty good. Uh, they reached out to me, Free, Freeland, I think is it, the name of the company. If not, uh, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but it'll be in the description below. And um, and link them. Go over there and uh, check them out. He's got some other products that I hadn't tried yet. So I know he got some rifle slings. They got uh, some gunsmithing tools. Um, of course, his cheek rest and... Uh, I got a 1911 front barrel tool and a handgun uh, block tool. So uh, he's got some interesting things over there. So go over and check out their channel or their, their um, Amazon page. And remember, we got uh, our 300 giveaway we're going to give out on uh, next Friday. Uh, make sure you look at our 300 giveaway video. Just say, uh, tell us what uh, um, patch group you like, A, B, or C. And um, we're probably going to give out two, I guess, now, since we've had a good uh, a good thing on it. We've hit our 300. So now uh, we got our next goal is going to hit 400. And our next giveaway for the 400 will be a Sig Sauer grip module for a subcompact um, P320. So that'll be our 400 giveaway. Uh, 500 giveaway, we're going to do something... A little special for it and um, we're gonna keep a couple more product reviews after this but they were they're not sponsored but this guy's kind enough to send this out to the channel for us to test so it's gonna go into long-term testing now I'm actually gonna fix the shotgun pouch here myself and um, we'll do that and it's gonna stay on the old single shot shotgun here for um, use in the field and the cheek rest and um, but yeah everything else I like on it the rifles good for medium and large size cartridges um, the pocket is great I, you know just to sum up everything remember to check us out on um, Instagram Facebook YouTube of course gun streamer because we got a channel over there uh, remember to like and share and subscribe definitely subscribe to the channel by hitting that bell icon and clicking on it you'll get all of our pertinent videos that are coming out you'll be notified of them and it helps the channel out that's the best way you can help the channel out uh, we we get a lot of views on a lot of certain videos if you like the vi if you like it share it click it that helps us out best thing ever plus you know youtube likes to demonetize gun channels nowadays so we know how that is and we're not even monetized yet whether we're monetized or not we're going to bring you product reviews. We're going to bring you um, gun reviews because that's what we set the channel up and that's what we enjoy doing here, me and my daughters. If I can ever get Jessica on here again, we'll, get, we'll see if we can get her to make a 500 giveaway special, make her to show back up on it. Um, but yeah, so like and subscribe to the videos. Definitely subscribe, even if you don't like them. If you have one of these, of this type let us know how you like it and if you get one of these please comment on the video and let us know what was yours did yours come like this too where you had to fix it or um was it right and did you like it you know that's the most thing we do this, this is just our opinion or my opinion specifically um it's not bad for the money i mean i've seen a lot more expensive versions out there and that don't give you you know they strap with velcro and all this and this is neoprene this will last a long time 
So, all right, no more of your time. It's been 15 minutes. We'll catch you guys next time.